Hey guys, what's going on? My name is Joe and welcome to a brand new video. Today, this is very special. I've literally been waiting all day for this. We're on Borderlands 3. This is going to be the first of my entire playthrough. I'm going to literally be um, doing like a cut commentary style so it's a bit more entertaining to watch. Uh, but kind of including all the important plot points and stuff. We're going to be playing through the entire game on the channel and this is the first episode of it. I'm going to be doing it every single day. So yeah man, I'm super excited. As I was saying, I've literally been waiting for this game all day. So uh, I guess we're just going to get straight into it. So I'm going to go on the normal difficulty. Uh, every bit of loot you find is dropped... Uh, I mean, I'm playing on my own, so I guess I'll just go with cooperation. I mean, so I'm playing on my own, it doesn't make a huge difference. Anyway, a there's a cutscene, I'll let you guys watch this. tale of adventure across the stars. <laughs> Come, listen to old Marcus. Have I got a story for you? My tale begins here. On this backwater planet called Pandora. Some say it is a wasteland of greed and violence. And it is. But if you've got skills to pay the bills. <laughs> Pandora is full of opportunity. Vault hunters. They brave the merciless borderlands in search of secret alien treasure. My father told me tales of vault hunting when I was but a little Marcus boy. And now, I tell you. So, you ask, what treasures do the vaults hide? Fame? Wealth? Power? <laughs> or maybe nonsense like charity or family. I don't know, use your imagination. Whatever the price, a vault hunter must have the determination to seize victory from the jealous hands of fate. Now, my story is about a very special band of vault hunters who have only just started their journey. They are bold and hungry. Maybe old Marcus tells you this story because they remind me of you. Just a little, don't let it go to your head. These new Vault Hunters are answering a siren's call. Her name is Lilith, and she is a hero, savior of Pandora a dozen times over. Lilith is recruiting a team to hunt for a map. A map that leads to vaults all over the galaxy. But she is not the only one. Dark forces have gripped the borderlands. A new threat, unlike anything the galaxy has seen before. My story begins right here on Pandora, with our new Vault Hunters, their siren leader, and, most importantly, me. Okay, so that was a kind of bit of context for the kind of storyline. Now we've just gone straight into another cutscene, I suppose. So yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll let you guys watch again. So there it is, Borderlands 3. That was the four Vault Hunters that you can pick from. And initially, I kind of wanted to go as Moe's and get the mech. But I kind of thought if I'm going to be exploring all the different weapon types, because there's so many different weapon combinations and exploring all that kind of stuff, I wouldn't really want to spend most of the time in a mech. And I know it's like a special ability, so you wouldn't be using it that much. But I think I'm going to be using Flak, um, which is this bloke here. Uh, his special sort of ability is he's, he's the Beastmaster, so he can summon in. I think it's three different uh, beasts you get an option of. But uh, he just seems like the most intriguing character to me. He kind of fits my playstyle the most, so that is who we're going to be going with. New Vault Hunter, huh? Name's Marcus. You picked a hell of a time to join the Crimson Raiders. <laughs> Good to see someone oh, it's Lilith. Happy. Big Lilith. There she is. I'm Lilith, leader <coughs> of the Crimson Raiders. Those bandits you fought are part of a cult hunting for the Vault Map. You and I are going to find it first. For now, my scout is waiting for you up ahead. Good luck. So I think I, I've watched um, like a few Twitch streams who had early access to the first bits of the game because I didn't want to spoil anything major, but I know where I'm going to play up to in the first episode. I'm not too sure how long the video is going to be, but of course I'm going to be doing the main campaign. So just kind of doing the main campaign missions. And uh, yeah, so we get out here. I am going to do some looting because there's there's a few pretty cool changes, honestly, made to the looting system. The most notable of which is that you don't have to manually pick up like ammo, which is huge in my opinion. So I'm going to sort out my sensitivity. 
Oh, hell yeah. Thanks, Claptrap. Homie's really just the plug out here, hooking me up with the Echo device. This is a new iPhone, I'm pretty the sure. Echo 3. Slightly more powerful than the Echo 2, and twice as expensive. Besides, the Echo 2 has... So is this a HUD? Is it... Yeah, this is just giving us a HUD, pretty much. So they those as grenades. Now listen up, recruit. Lilith ordered us to take over a Children of the Vault propaganda center. Time to show those culty weirdos that no one messes with the Crimson Raiders. Follow me, recruit. Do glory! Alright, I am, I know he just said follow me to glory, right? I'm just running over here because I'm pretty sure there's a few little uh, things I can loot around here. I am going to be doing a lot of looting off screen as well, just so you guys know. So if, if I ever just get like a small amount more money than I had a second ago, then it's probably just due to me looting and cutting it out. Because, you know, no one wants to watch me running around looting. Not very entertaining. So yeah, I am going to follow Big Claptrap now. Also, this... This is mad, right? So, if you've ever played a Borderlands game, you'll understand how sick this is. Um, yeah, he's, he's just chatting to me at the moment, so there we go. Um, we can actually customise our character, like, a lot more, so we can change the, the colour of his armour. So, there's two primary colours, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, yeah, so it's like, th there's lots of levels to it, so I'm just going to put everything white so you can see which aspects change. Um, and then I'll do I'll do it properly, I guess, later on in the game. I'm pretty sure we'll get multiple opportunities to do it. I'm just going to go, like, blue and red for everything, to be honest, because I feel like, you know, they, they contrast each other well. Oh, what is this? Uh, okay, I'm going to read this. I'm definitely going to read this, all right? I... Yeah, I just, you didn't see it because I edited it, but I definitely read the whole user agreement. Don't don't worry about it. You are. And people always do what you tell them to. That's it. Recruit, get that gate open. Oh, brilliant. Brilliant. Uh, I actually don't know what to do. I'm assuming it's this thing. It's got to be this thing, right? Uh, the diamond icon on the minimap. Yeah, I mean, I was literally already over here. What are the odds, eh? I'm just that good at the game. I just know what to do. Easy as you like. Oh, look at that slide. Okay. Okay, some, some crouch slides. I see you. I see you. That's sick. And there's also mantling, I'm pretty sure. Like, um, I'll show you guys. I'll, I'll jump down, go get the loot, and then show you what I mean. So what I'm saying is, like, look, if you... Okay, that wasn't the best example of it. What I'm saying is, like, if you... You can, like, climb up stuff, which is just... I don't know. It just feels really nice. It's a nice, like, addition. I'm sure it was a pain in the ass to program, but... Yeah, I don't know. I just think it's really cool. There's a little pile of bones here, which we can... We get loads of good stuff for them. You know, items nonetheless. We still don't have a gun, which I'm a bit concerned about, Claptrap. Is, uh, there's a few a few nasty lads down here. What is he doing? Dude, you can <laughs> love him or hate him. You know, it's he's there to stay. And you got to respect it. Oh, I'm, stood wh I'm stood far back, Claptrap. Don't you worry. Oh, big that weapon chest. Stealth. How have you survived this long? Dude, like, that that's the the main thing about Borderlands. Most people know it for, like, the humour and stuff. And I feel like it's not lost any of it. From from the short amounts I've seen, uh, it's not lost any of that humour, you know? Ooh. So, yeah, weapons have different functions, which is pretty pretty epic. I think there's one of the one of the makers in particular has, like, every single gun they have has multiple functions, which I just think is pretty cool. Mate, we've got $61, you know. We don't need to find the vault. We're already rich. How is he just going to disrespect Shiv like that, bro? He really just said bloodthirsty maniac whilst he's talking to him, you know. Claptrap is... He's got balls. you got to respect it. He probably just heard that, Claptrap, all right, mate? He probably just heard that. I'm just going to... You you probably messed up a bit there, mate. Oh no, no, what's happened? Oh, clap trap. I don't think they're gonna let us in, mate. I think you've messed up there, to be honest. Oh, big magnet, big magnet. Okay, so this is the first combat area. I really want to get a feel for how the kind of combat feels, how the guns are. Uh, oh, okay, okay. It it doesn't. I've got to say, like, obviously, I've I'll get a better idea once I play it more. But it really doesn't feel similar to Borderlands 2. It feels a lot different to Borderlands 2, in fact. I don't know if, if you guys in the comments have played it. Let me know what you think in comparison. Uh, do you think it feels similar? Or or do you think that the gunplay in this game is pretty different? I mean, I, d I can't really put my finger on it. It feels nicer, in my opinion, if anything. I'm not saying it in a bad way at all. Wait, let me try the other fire on this mode. There we go. 
Oh, it's rockets. Wow, okay. Uh, oh, wait. Oh, yeah, I'm, I'm low. I should probably probably sort that out. Is there a health thing in here? I'm not going to use the rockets. I don't really like them, to be honest. I prefer just the normal fire mode. I shouldn't really be looting right now, but, you know, I'm on the grind. There we go. And, oh, okay. Yep, you too. Got ya. Epic, right. Uh, I am going to loot this area pretty well. Um, I wonder if there's, like, another weapon line around here. I, I, I know there is one in the area past here. Claptrap's been zoomed down. But I'm pretty sure there is like a pretty cool weapon lying around uh, in the thing through here. Ooh, uh, ooh. Ooh, we got two new items. Okay. So, switch it with mouse wheel. Ooh, we got a scoped revolver. Cool, I didn't even see that. I'll take it though. Oh, wow, look at the scope on this thing. Oh, God. Oh, God. Okay, so... Oh, this is good, man. This is so much better than the other revolver we were using. Okay. Oh, look at that reload. Is there an old fire mode on this thing? I didn't quite see it. Uh, I don't think there is. But it feels super nice though, and the reload animation. Oh, don't even get me started, boy. Oh, this feels so nice, boys. You love to see it. I am going to loot this area, obviously. You know me, you know me, king of looting right now. But, uh, yeah, this item feels so nice, man. I think I just took out all the enemies, so now it's just sort of like the loot and run. Yeah, by far, though, I prefer this pistol that I'm using right now to the other one. Some health, and I'm pretty sure... Yeah, this way. See, I I know this game, boys. I know this game. Only the first level, but I know this area pretty well. So what are we going to get? I think there's two... Oh, wow. So it's di obviously it's randomized, but um, that looks better. Uh, what level were these as well? I didn't even see... Here, oh, the inventory menu is. Oh, it's beautiful. Oh, it's beautiful. Oops. I meant to skip the tutorial. So, we can't use those. They're both level 2. We can use that. So, I'm going to put that there, to be honest. And, shall I take any of these? That's level 1, and that's level 1. I should probably take the level 1 one, just so I can use it now. It, I mean, it does more damage than the thing I'm using. So, yeah. May as well. And, yeah. I think we are pretty set. I, I haven't got the rest of the loot from this area. I will do that. But, uh, the next thing you'll be seeing is me going into the next area. There we go. Here's the shield. Uh, this is for the objective, obviously. Uh, I guess I'll just take everything here. I may as well. This this other item I picked up, I must say, it, it's only got four bullets, I think. I'm pretty sure it's a pistol, to be honest. I mean, it's... It must be, but um, the reload for it is really cool. So I guess now we're going into Shiv, which is the first... I would say the first boss. It's more of a mini boss, but we're going into it regardless. So, yeah, let's get it, man. I'm, I, I don't know what this is, to be honest. I, I've not seen anyone use this. It's some sort of silenced, scoped pistol. I wonder what the damage is going to be like, actually. I, I'm really excited to try this thing out, man. So... Where is Big Shiv? Here we go. Here we go. I'm gonna my blade on your Dude, the character design. The character design. Look at that. He's got one tiny arm. He looks like Quagmire from Family Guy. If you know, if you know, you know. All right. Oh, the damage on this thing. Is, oh God. The damage on this thing is kind of nice. Okay. Okay, Shiv. Oh, Shiv. You got. You got to settle down, bro. Shiv. You can't make me act up, mate. All right. Come on, then. Oh, this did 40, dude. This is so much better. Obviously, it was a crit. So, I'm pretty sure we were headshotting him, I guess. We're doing some pretty good damage, though. Shiv is not an overly strong boss. There's a lot of environmental damage I could be doing right now. There we go. I mean, I just killed him in the first barrel. If I shot the barrels all along, I probably would have uh, got there a lot quicker. And we did level up, which means we can use the level 2 items that we picked up. So, let me exit out of this menu. I'm actually going to straight out swap... Um, what did Shiv drop? He dropped a shotgun. Ooh, that could be pretty good. Uh, I guess I'll just loot the area. And yeah, Big Lilith is on the way now. So I've got to free, free up my boy Claptrap. You know, free him. Ooh, loot, loot box, loot box. What are we going to get? Oh, just some ammo, just some ammo. There's a, there's a few loot items here, actually. There's a lot of stocking up you can be doing right now. Just ammo, and I'm pretty much full on ammo. That's got to be the only reason why I can't take him. Uh, this game feels nice, though, man. It, it, I mean, it's... I'm only getting about f between like 30 and 50 FPS and I'm on a mix between medium and low settings. Oh, actually, yeah, we should unlock our action skill. So the skills menu is really nice looking, by the way. I completely forgot about this. Guys, you're going to have to remind me in the comments to check out the action skills. Is we have tamed wild pets that can be summoned as a constant battle companion. And it, there's other things as well, like it revives you, you can revive it, all that, all that good stuff. Uh, I'll, I'll just skip the tutorial. So what's this? Gamma burst? Guard Skag, okay. Jabber, Sidekick, and Fade Away. Or Spider Ant Centurion, and 
Rack Attack. Now, that seems like the good one, you know? And you get the Rack Attack as well. That attack is like you summon in a few dragon-looking birds or racks. I assume they're called to dive bomb enemies. I guess, you know what? I, I think the spider is the nicest looking of them as well. That's my main thing, so I'm going to go with that. So, um, equip slot one. There we go. And we have got it. So, how do we summon this thing in? Is it, is it, is it two? Or is it F? Oh, no. The F is the bird things. I've, done, I've just wasted that. Oh, there he is. Hello, mate. Oh, look at him go. Oh, what a choice. What a choice that was. Okay, so, going to get the cash from here. And we're going to let Claptrap down, you know, free him. The system got my boy locked up and we'll jump down. What is the full damage saying? I mean, I don't even think there is full damage. We'll revive Claptrap. He's, he's a bit dead at the moment, but it's fine. We can we can work with him. Oh boy. He sent out a big laser beam. I'm assuming that's for Lilith to come down. And speaking of which, that is who I'm assuming to be Lilith. Wow. She had the, she had the demon wings, bro. Damn. You're right, Lilith. What's up? That was pretty epic. Pretty epic, Lilith. Commander of the Crimson Raiders. All right, cool. Like complete success. I did it all by myself. He's got to stop taking credit, you know, Claptrap. I'm not. I, I'm not one to, you know, hunt after all the glory. But I, I did kill Shiv. You know, my beast wasn't there, but he would have helped as well. Look at the reload on this thing, though. Just pops it out. That's really nice. And I think this is the same. It's just a silenced version. Yeah, I should probably not have two of the same weapons. You know, it's not very beneficial. Um, mission complete, though. So, uh, so look at the grenade mod. Where, where would that be? So that would be with the grenades, I assume? I, mean, I think that's got to be it, right? Yeah, that's got to be it. Oh, what? Oh, God, what's happening? Oh, God. All right. Well, there goes the grenade. Oh, my God. That was a one hit. I know these are like, are these not tester enemies? What's my beast doing? I don't know. I don't know how the beast's getting on. Oh, the beast. There he is. There he is. Mate, I'm really liking this pistol, you know. I'm not even zooming in with it. It just seems to be super accurate. Uh, can we use our F? We can. There you go. So where did they go? I mean, oh my god, they just killed everyone. Oh god. Yeah, this is why I don't really like having two of the same items. That was not a smart move on my behalf. But there we go, we got them anyway. Did any of them drop anything useful? I doubt it, to be honest. Anything, anything good here. Anything good? I'm going to put that shotgun on, actually, that we picked up. So, I'm not going to use the silenced one. I'll use this thing. And I'll keep the one with the knife on the end, because that probably has a pretty cool melee. So, let's take a look at this shotgun that we picked up after we reload this. Uh, oh, jeez, that is a beefy shotgun. We got attacked and the map was lost. I'm going to touch it. Hey. Whoa, whoa, what are you doing? What, what's it? <laughs> Bro, I think my pet's broke. Can I return? Can I get another pet? Guys, Borderlands, I think my pet's broke. Can I get a refund? Look, he's, he shouldn't be doing that. Oh, why is she running? Oh, we're running. Let's take a look around. Okay. So we're just exploring. The Calypso twins. Yeah, that's who we saw in the cutscene. I, I was going to say a little bit more about that. We do learn more about them later on. But they are like the... Uh, the uh, leaders, so to speak, the the main enemies, so to speak. Oh, she has just gone through the wall. She uh. Oh, a lot of loot boxes here. Are we gonna get anything good? Just some money, just some money. What are we looking for here exactly, Lilith? I wasn't paying attention. I was uh too busy complaining about my pet being a bit broken. Oh, there you are. Okay. Mouthpiece, is that like the Captain Flynn of this of this game, do you think? I reckon that's the Captain Flynn, you know. I knew it. We have to beat them to the Sun Smashers. Okay, but uh on that note guys, obviously we are I've recorded about 28 minutes, I don't know how much of it is going to be it, but that is the first episode of my Borderlands playthrough, so if you did enjoy, please do remember to leave a like and let me know your thoughts down below. If you'd like to see more videos like this and the rest of the Borderlands series, then do be sure to subscribe, because I'm going to be playing the rest of the game. I may even do multiple character builds as well, so you have that to look forward to, but yeah, thanks for watching guys, and peace.